Last time on the Wuthering Camper, we climbed the mountain Sviti Elia, which overlooks the town of Orovich. It provided a tough challenge for both Tegan and I, and also expensive views. And on top of that, Tegan also managed to make friends with a couple of wild horses, all before we packed our bags and said goodbye to the town of Orovich. Hola. Hey. Uh, we're just leaving Orbeck now. We just emptied our grey tank. Um, we were meant to stay three nights here. Ended up staying six. Yeah, something like that. Uh, but we just, I think, really enjoyed it. <sighs> Had some good food, drank some good wine. Yeah. Really nice little place. Not too busy. Easy to get to Korkula. Campsite's pretty cheap. Just good vibes. Vibes. Do you have my cell phone? Um, yeah, we just really enjoyed it. Bit sad to leave actually. Anyway, off we go. New adventure into Italy soon. But right now we're heading towards the Brovnik. Gradually. Gradually. Uh, yeah. Catch you later. read how much petrol we have in the tank. She's jumping all over the shirt. Oh, she's up again. Yeah, I don't know what's up. So, that's our new spot for the night. I think tomorrow we're going to climb the second... The Great Wall of Europe. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> if anyone can ask me what the heck this 1950 stone stuff's about. I see it, I'm seeing it tagged everywhere. Basically, we're going to climb this big old wall tomorrow, which someone once said was the second greatest wall in the world, but we don't think that's quite right. But no, it, second greatest stone wall? But, yeah, sorry, continue. Uh, yeah, but we think maybe it's just a real big wall, but we're going to climb it anyway. It's fucking blue. This is where we're staying tonight. Oh, this old man's been going deep. He loves it. Um, Go to cars. Yeah, so basically we started the car in the alleys. Uh, petrol meter stopped working, but now it seems to be working now. I feel like it's just that when the engine's cold. Oh, that looks nice. Something like that, anyway. I think I'm doing this looks bloody fabulous. I'm going for a snorkel. Now. I'm gonna get cold. Snorkel now or a swim? Oh, oh, it's like a bit. It's like sand. We can go on the side. Okay, where do we go? 
Yeah, I know, but why not just go for us? Yeah. It's right here. Unfortunately, like most places, you need Kuna Matata. You need Kuna um, to buy the internet. We've only got 10 Kuna, which yeah, is like $2. You might have 10 Kuna and Kuna. Maybe, but then also, I feel like if we have internet, then we won't do the, the video. Yeah, but Peaky. Peaky Blinders, uh, we're currently on that buzz right now. It's pretty good. It's quite old, but I think it's 2013. Do they close tomorrow? That has Tom Hardy, the lad. Yeah, closes tomorrow. How perfect. One night. It's the 29th today, holy shit, time flies. We've fully settled in now and we've got some uh, Peaky Blinders loading. Um, and a cider, of course. We're going for a walk tomorrow. We're going for a walk tomorrow up a hill along the Great Wall of Europe. More bloody stairs, yay! Why do you think climbing things is fun? Yay, yeah, climb, climb, climb. One ticket. Oh, two. A hundred. Cool, thank you. As it turns out, the Wall of Stone is the second longest stone wall in Europe, placing just after Hadrian's Wall in England. The build started in 1333 after stone became part of the Republic of Dubrovnik, and it originally stood at 7 k's long. The purpose of the wall was for fortification, to defend the Republic and Peninsula, and was last used in the 19th century as the defence of Stone City and salt pans. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to walk the length of the remaining wall, as we had a long drive that afternoon. However, with the same ticket, we were able to visit the newly built fort in Stone, a replica of an original fort once crucial to Stone's protection. Um, we just climbed the, the Great Wall of John. Um, you can see I've changed the top because, God, it was hot. Um, and we also had a look at this fort. Which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, we're heading to Dubrovnik now. We're heading to a campsite just past it. In Mini? Milner? Mil Milner. Uh, we should be good, we might head on to Dubrovnik this afternoon. Um, yeah, it's a pretty stunning day, so hopefully we can get a, s a swim in. Thoughts? Shoulders hurt. Uh, yeah. Bari too. Bari too, yeah. What's going on right here? Uh, yeah. Exciting day ahead. Our time in Croatia was coming to an end. It had been an epic month or so travelling the distance of Croatia's coastline. We started our van journey from the top of Croatia near the town of Pula. From here we moseyed our way down the Croatian coast with a brief visit inland to check out the Plitvis Lakes before continuing our trip south towards Sadar and checking out the sites of Var Island and Orovic, all before our final Croatian stop.
We ended up staying at a place called Camping Cape. There was a bus stop conveniently just down the road. In the morning, we hopped on and followed the crowds towards Dubrovnik. What are we doing right now, Tegan? It's being shit. It's all in the hood. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, that's all the buses. Let's go right now. The Dubrovnik that we see today is a 13th to 14th century town, also known as the Old Town. Nowadays Dubrovnik is made famous for being used as King's Landing in Game of Thrones, so there's a real mix of old and new interests in this part of Croatia. Dylan and I are pretty good at avoiding big crowds, but this was one of the busiest places we had been to. Even so, it had a laid-back holiday vibe about it, as people were shopping and eating within the walls, others were sunbathing and jumping into the water just on the other side, which made us regret leaving our togs in Nelly. We only had one day to see this place, so we made sure to get lost down its narrow streets before we started the walk back up to the bus stop. While we waited to catch the bus, we got approached by a local to share a taxi with two ladies from England. It turned out to be cheaper, quicker, and provided a great conversation. Uh, we've had a pretty chill day today. Uh, we're just kind of getting some stuff done on the bird, and I'm starting to clean up before we head off to Italy. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty of a lazy day, like our bed is still made. We haven't bothered folding it up completely, because we're not really doing much. Uh, we went down to the beach and hung out there for a while. Saw some flounder. Um, yeah, van's a bit of a mess, we're doing a bit of a big clean up before we go to Italy. Dylan's going to do the dishes, and I can do dinner. Um, yeah. It was our final night in Croatia, so we made sure to sit outside and enjoy the sun setting as we cooked our last meal. Listen to sea On a little bed that was painted green Hey guys, so today we're off from Camping Cape, which has been a pleasure to stay here, my I add. Um, I guess it's, she's quite a small campsite, but she's quite perfect in terms of getting to Dubrovnik um, there and back. It's an easy bus route, so. Uh, but yeah, 
Yes, we're heading, well, going to head to Bari now. Um, we've got a ferry at 10 o'clock. So hopefully it all goes well. We're on, on the track to jump over there. Are you taking? Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, awesome little campsite. If you guys around, look it up. Camping Cat. Cheers. We are leaving uh, Dubrovnik today and setting sail for Bari um, in Italy, which is pretty exciting. Our ferry leaves at 10 p.m. tonight uh, and it's a nine hour ferry ride, so we arrive like eight in the morning um, in Bari, so it's pretty cool. Uh, it's gonna be a bit of a long night, I think. But yeah, exciting stuff. Still got a couple of hours to kill. I think we're getting there early to sort out the stuff, the paperwork and all that, um, and then wait in line until we get boarded. Yeah. Um, nothing else to report? No, it's good. Nice view. Yeah. Bloody tired. Bloody tired, but. I think it's time to move on from Croatia. It's been nice. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy the view last time in Croatia. Rose of gas collapsed. Sailor throws to the sea. Wind blowing adventure, passing and free. He knows where he comes from. He's grateful for what he's got. Feels proud of love, some nature. You and it were a beat of a life. Celebrating in the fiesta. See for my now go home. Holding her on his sister. Mary's out of port of gold. Baby, I'm sunny. Whoa, oh, oh. we're gonna find a treasure. Yeah, we might need to go get a port of passes. Give a name your daddy. Oh no. But, yeah, this is considered to be a green, but I think we can watch our nails. Yeah, she'd probably appreciate it, wouldn't she? Anyway, we got coffee. Please don't have nails. Please don't have nails. Please don't have nails. Oh, oh. I'm gonna fold on the wing mirrors. Um, so I've been waiting for like two hours. Two hours. And it's been alright. It's getting dark now. As you can not see us. Um, yeah. Bit frustrated before because we were literally the second vehicle to arrive on the line. And we are currently bringing up the rear. There is no one behind us. Um, and we thought. We're going to be last on last off, but looks like people are reversing in. And do you know what that means, Dylan? Well, that hopefully means we're first off the boat. But, you know, there's been many a plot twist in this bloody four-hour wait, so anything could happen. Anything could happen. But, uh, yeah, should be right. Last on first off, that's the rule, right? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I reckon, I reckon um, hands down the refining seat option was well worth it. Yeah, if we didn't have anything to sit like this. No, I feel like you could sleep in your van, but I'm not quite sure that they, what they'd do if you got caught. It's really weird. This is what I would imagine like a Soviet type theory <laughs> to look like. Be my 
Next time on the Werder and Camper, we finally make it to Italy, clear customs, and make our way towards the World Heritage Site of Matera. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, remember to give it a like below and, and subscribe to our channel to see more upcoming videos. We're currently a little bit behind on our videos and we are aiming to catch up. But if you want to get to know what we're up to on a daily basis, then the best place you could go to is probably one of our Instagram pages, notably Tegan's, because she likes to follow me around for her telephone. Um, other than that, yeah, just make sure to check out our YouTube channel and subscribe. There should be a subscribe yes. button around here. Oh, yeah. Somewhere. Oh, yeah. Okay.